I'm Sue McMahon from Women's Weekly magazine and I'm going to show you how to make butternut squash risotto. The ingredients for the risotto are one butternut squash which I've peeled and taken the seeds out of the centre and chopped it, olive oil for cooking, one medium onion which is peeled and chopped, 250 grams of risotto rice, 150 millilitres of white wine, one litre of hot vegetable stock, two tablespoons of freshly chopped sage and salt and pepper for seasoning. And then for the garnish for it, I need some whole sage leaves and some sunflower oil to cook them in. To help bring out the flavour of the butternut squash, I find it's best to roast it. So I'm going to tip it into a roasting tin and then pour over two tablespoons of the olive oil for cooking and then turn those in the oil so that it's all coated. Then this needs to go in a hot oven preheated to 200 degrees centigrade or gas six and it needs to roast for about 30 minutes until the butternut squash starts to turn golden. So the first thing to cook for the risotto is the onion. So I've heated a tablespoon of oil in a deep pan and I'm going to add the onion. This onion needs to be cooked for about five minutes until it starts to soften. So once the onion has softened but not started to colour too much, you can add the rice to the pan and then stir this so that it mixes with the onion. The next thing to add is the white wine and I'm going to add half of it and keep stirring until it evaporates. So the rice will be absorbing the flavour of the wine. And then add the rest of it and do the same thing. Cook it until it looks almost dry again. So once the wine has been absorbed, you can start adding the vegetable stock. Adding just a small amount at a time and keep stirring it so that it brings out the stickiness in the rice. It should be creamy and sticky when it's finished. Unlike a rice like basmati rice, where all the grains of rice stay very separate, with risotto rice, the types of starches in it come out of the grain to thicken the risotto. It's better to keep adding the stock gradually rather than adding it all at the beginning and then you can see exactly how much it needs. It might not take the full litre of stock. It normally takes between sort of 15 and 20 minutes for the rice to cook all the way through. So what I need to do now is I'm going to season it with some salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And then I'm going to add the chopped sage and stir it all to mix it. Then the essential part to add is the roasted butternut squash. So this is how it should look after it's been roasting in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to tip that into the pan and mix it in. So that's my butternut squash risotto all ready to serve. I just need to quickly prepare the garnish for it.
So to prepare the garnish, I've heated some sunflower oil in a small pan. It's fairly deep, it's about a centimetre deep. And I'm going to add the sage leaves one at a time. And then turn them over. And then take them out of the oil and drain them on absorbent kitchen paper. So the risotto is now ready to serve, so I can spoon it into a serving plate and then garnish it with the crisp sage leaves. So that's my finished butternut squash risotto.